The story of early mankind, 1.5 million years ago. Calm, dramatic tone, step back in time, far beyond the first civilizations, before pyramids rose, before history was even written. Around 1.5 million years ago, the earth was wild, untamed, and ruled by instinct, survival, and stone. In the heart of Africa, beneath blazing suns and endless skies, a new kind of human roamed, Homo erectus. They stood tall, walked upright, and carried the spark of something new. Slight pause. They didn't have language like ours, but they communicated through sounds, gestures, shared moments. Their minds were growing, and with them a powerful tool emerged, stone. They chipped and shaped it into axes and blades, not just to survive, but to master their world. Then came the greatest discovery of all, fire, not made, but captured from lightning storms, wild burns. They tamed the flame, softer tone. Around its light, they gathered. They cooked, stayed warm, kept predators at bay. And maybe they told the first stories. These were nomads, hunters and gatherers. They moved as families, as tribes across vast landscapes. Men tracked ancient beasts, women foraged the forests. Every member had a role, every day was a test. But they were more than survivors, they were explorers. Rise in tone, from Africa they wandered, into the Middle East, across Asia, even reaching distant islands. They braved harsh cold, survivors. They were explorers. Rise in tone, from Africa they wandered, into the Middle East, across Asia, even reaching distant islands. They braved harsh cold, faced deadly animals, and pressed onward, step by step. By 1.5 million years ago, humankind had already begun its great migration, spreading across the globe. Pause. Their tools were simple, their lives harsh, but their spirit was unbreakable. And though their bones lie silent, their story lives on, in us. The fire they aimed still burns, the journey they began continues. This is the story of early mankind, the legacy of the first humans. Their journey didn't end in the wild, it evolved, generation after generation. From Homo erectus, new branches of the human family tree began to grow, Homo heidelbergensis, Neanderthals, and eventually, us, Homo sapiens. Each one inherited something vital, the curiosity to explore, the tools to adapt, and the fire to endure. Even now, in our cities of glass and steel, we carry echoes of those early days, the way we gather, the stories we tell, the instinct to survive. They all began there, beneath open skies, around flickering fires. Their world is long gone, but their spirit lives on in every step we take forward. From stone to space, their first steps began the journey of humankind.